It's Madden NFL 24 on EA Sports. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the Patriots and the Silver and Black. And it's coming up next. Now from a field that will host Super Bowl 58 come February, there's a good look inside Allegiant Stadium just off the 15 here in Las Vegas, Nevada. Coming up, we've got what should prove to be a good one as it'll be the New England Patriots taking on the Las Vegas Raiders. With you from Vegas, I'm Brandon Gordon. To my left is Charles Davis. A CD changing times with this Raiders organization. Gone after nine years is Derek Carr, the franchise's all-time passing leader. And in steps Jimmy Garoppolo. And what we know about Jimmy Garoppolo, what we've seen on display, is what I call breezy confidence. He's able to distribute the ball to a good runner and guys out wide. And teams adopt his attitude. And they play and perform at a high level for him. Meanwhile, for the Patriots, they come in off an 8-9 record a year ago, a second losing season in the last three. It had to happen sometime. But you say don't pour water on these pads just yet. <laughs> no, not at all. No one should ever do that. Remember, they're always going to be tough for you to crack defensively. Offensively is where they have to make a jump. They've got to start scaring people with some big play weapons on the perimeter. And we are underway at Allegiant Stadium. Taken at the goal line. And he'll be brought down shy of the 20, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone, not a good one. Well, the Patriots offense set to go to work with Mac Jones at quarterback in his third season now out of Alabama. It was a much rockier season for Jones in his second year, and he even had to survive a brief challenge to his starting job. This is a big campaign for the former Rookie of the Year runner-up. He wants to get back to Pro Bowl form in this one. Now Jones. Hunter Henry brings it in. And he'll be corralled well upfield right around the 40-yard line. 22 yards on the catch and run, a first down. Good work here by the tight end. It's a crossing route off of play action. They're going to let the slot receiver run a post to hopefully let the defense think they're taking a shot. And then they bring the tight end underneath, and it winds up a first down. Here's the first carry for Ezekiel Elliott. And he is going to lose yardage here. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. I like the strategy. Extra tight ends, extra beef. They want to run the football, but that means they probably want to run it inside. If you get strung out on the perimeter, you're in peril. Yeah, we saw the result, negative yardage. Throwing Jones. Throwing over the middle, and it's incomplete. As a corner, you have to be able to run with guys step for step downfield of man coverage and make up ground quickly in zone. You have to put yourself in position to make plays just like that one we saw there. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. He's got his target. That's complete. And he is out of bounds inside the 35. 27 yards there on a very nice third down conversion. So here's a first and 10 now in Raider territory at the 34. Back to throw, Jones. And his throw is incomplete. Partner I came into this game eager to see how they would hold up in man coverage. And on that play, they held up quite well. Now a second and 10. They'll look to throw again. And that'll be incomplete. They've given him some different looks here defensively in the early going. He's only hit two of his first five passes. With a big third down coming up, 
He's hoping he's got a play dialed up that can take advantage of whatever the defense throws at him. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have him looking at third and ten. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. Oh, this will be incomplete. The rush gets home just as he was letting that go. That could have been worse. Instead, it's fourth down. On now the rookie fourth-round pick, Chad Ryland, for the Patriot field goal. On the right hash, officially this will be a 51-yard attempt. And his kick is indeed good, and the Patriots jump out to a 3-0 lead. Well, when they began that opening drive, they didn't have the best field position, but they were able to move the ball enough, Charles, to just get in his range to take the 3-0 advantage. Absolutely, because considering where they began that series, I think they're pretty happy to be sitting a three-zip right now. Back out is the kicker, Ryland, and he'll send this one away. DeAndre Carter now from his end zone. And the decision to bring it out, not a good one, as he's tackled it to 15. The Raiders offense heading out with their new man under center for 2023, the former Patriot, former 49er, Jimmy Garoppolo. It's another typical season for Jimmy G last year. When he was out there, he was excellent, leading the 49ers to seven wins and throwing four times as many touchdowns as interceptions. Then the injury bug bit again. But Las Vegas, they're counting on him being able to do the exact same thing they saw in San Francisco, but avoiding injury while doing so. And Garoppolo going to lead the Raiders up here first and 10 at their own 15. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. And yeah, that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there, forced the ball free, and it's second down. How about that? Red man coverage and decided to test them early. But they proved up to the task and forced the incompletion. Here's second and ten. They fake the give. Now Garoppolo looks to throw. That's going to be caught. It's Jacoby Myers. And they work this well upfield across the 45. Give them 32 on the play. What my dad would say sometimes, I'm just scratching my head here trying to figure out what was going on there defensively. How did you lose him in the middle of the field? If you're going to lose a receiver, make sure it's someone on the short side of things, not deep downfield, that can hurt your defense. The big play has him all the way out near midfield for a first and ten. Play action, Garoppolo. They swing that out wide to Jacobs. Well, he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. Now the NFL's leading rusher a season ago, Josh Jacobs. And this Patriot defense up to the challenge once more as they again stop him behind the line. We all have habits. We can be somewhat predictable, and you know me pretty well on second down and short. What I like to say? Play action. Yeah, without a doubt. I thought that was a great spot to call it. Instead, didn't go their way, did it? No, defense sold out for the run. Worked out well. Trying to run for it with Jacobs. And well, this is not going to be enough. Was in search of two yards and only got halfway there. Well, we talk about defenders, specifically linebackers, keeping their eyes in the right spot. He had that eye down the entire time. And you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you. They try and fool you and get your eyes in the wrong place. But you're right about that one. He correctly figured that one out and made a really nice play. And now on fourth and one, it's a fake. And this is caught. And the gamble pays off. They get the first. So not only do they convert on fourth, but they pick up 22 yards in the process. 
I'm not sure that the surprise was that they actually faked it. That's classic territory to go ahead and do it. The surprise to me is that they were successful. I'm not sure the defense was really prepared. And now they're going to keep the drive alive here. Really big play on the fake punt. So after the big play on fourth, here's first and ten. Now a play fake. Garoppolo. Now a quick throw there, but it's going to be incomplete. Nice progress down the field. Was halted by that incompletion. They could try for some safe yards here to get things moving again or keep throwing it and pushing it downfield to try and pick up bigger yardage. From the 21, it's second and 10. Back to the running game with Jacobs. And he will be brought down at about the six-yard line. That gain of 15 gets him on the doorstep, first and goal. Quite the opening drive march they're on right now. It looks a lot like what we saw in practice prior to the game, doesn't it? You know, because on that last big practice beforehand, you go through your offensive script, you go through your play calling, you go through all the stuff and establish things, and it looks like it's going like clockwork right now for them. Caught on the right side by Adams. So he stopped for no gain, and it'll be second and goal. Well, that was a simple throw and catch, but even with that completion, zero yards gained, so they're behind schedule on down and distance. I think they were hoping to get it to him. He could make a man or two miss, but that window closed quickly. They come up here with another shot from the six-yard line, and it's second and goal now. Now a first carry for Brandon Bolden. And he's going to get him about three yards closer. He's down to about the two. Two straight shots on the ground. Now on third, do you go to the air? I think the possibility exists, and if you're doing it, you're probably going play action since you ran it twice. But I often think that second down is a time you go play action and throw the ball. I say commit to the run and think about it being four down territory. Jacobs. And Jacobs, I don't think he's going to get there. No. It appears they're going to mark him short of the first. Only a yard that time. So now a decision to be made here on fourth and goal. This is a long drive offensively. Wouldn't you hate to end this with just three points? Doesn't it feel like during a ball game you have certain narratives going on and there's certain drives that seem to take on just a bit more importance than others? This feels like one of those, doesn't it? To me, three points here, a major letdown. This is the time to go and put six on the board. So three points on the board, as easy a field goal as you're going to get, but I can see you shaking your head. I love that peripheral vision of yours, partner, because to me, if it's the fourth quarter and you're up six, I get it. But now, even if you run and don't get in, you're still setting them up to go a long field, 98, 99-yard drive. How do you look at your defense and not give them that opportunity? Each team with a possession, each team with a field goal as the kick is away. And this will come out to the 25 as Jones elects for the touchback. So back onto the field come the Pats for their second drive. Last time out, you remember their drive stalled, but thanks to their kicker, booted a long field goal to at least get them three. Now here they'll try to do better and find the end zone. And in our experience, how much fun is it for coaches to know that they've got a kicker who can nail it from long distance? Now the hard part is, as an offensive play caller, you don't want that in your head too much where you're relying on it, and he goes out and gets the job done for them, but I'm quite sure he would be content to just kick extra points from here on out. Yeah, absolutely no question. I think his teammates would be okay with him just kicking the extra points as well. Divine Diablo there to make the stop. You know, it's not just all athleticism from defensive linemen. Let's give them a little credit for their football intelligence as well. Read and react by them, understood the play call, and stacked it up and stuffed the run. Here's Corral. And his pass incomplete. I like the call. It looked like the right time to dial up the running back screen. But this one got disrupted right from the start and ends up falling incomplete. After an incomplete pass on second down, that'll leave him trying to convert on third and nine. 
On third down, Corral. A nifty bit of scrambling there. 12 yards, first down. He's a talented runner, and that means he's always looking for bigger and bigger gains when he takes off. Certainly found some bonus yards there beyond the first down marker, and this early drive will continue with that extra jolt from his legs. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Back to throw, Corral. Short pass caught by Henry. It'll be a gain of five at its second down. They gave up the completion there, but this is what zone defenses count on. Catching the ball and not much run after the catch. On second down, here's Corral. This one to Bourne, and he's got it. A big change in field position there. That's 40 yards on the catch and run. Excellent execution, and now they're set up nicely. Are they ever? Red zone? I wonder what the next play call is going to be because after a big play like that, a lot of teams like to use the momentum to launch another one. They had to settle for three last drive, hoping this second go around ends in six. In good position, first and ten. Now Corral. Open man is born. And he'll be out of bounds, taking it just shy of the ten at the 11 or the 12. Call it a gain of six on the play, and that will bring up second down. Corral looking to pass, second down. Finding Bourne here over the middle. And the Patriots are looking at first and goal as he's tackled all the way down at the two-yard line. How about the first quarter he's putting together out wide? Pretty impressive. I think that he likes the fact that we're playing this as a day game. You know, some guys, they respond better in the evenings for some reason it builds up. For this guy, day game, and he is off and running. You're exactly right. 100 might be conservative with the start that he's had here in the first he, quarter. Yeah. Touchdown, Patriots! Devontae Parker, a two-yard touchdown grab. And the Patriots have taken the lead. Well executed there offensively. Defense looked a little confused, but he found his receiver, and that one good for six points. And the payoff we just saw there tells us how many times they ran this play in practice over the past few weeks because they executed that flawlessly right here on game day when the situation arose. Extra point by Ryland up and good. And the lead is now 10 to three. So that one an eight play drive, it spans 75 yards. And Devontae Parker able to finish it off with a touchdown reception. So after the field goal, Ryland back out as he'll send this one away. From his end zone, here comes Carter. And in hindsight, probably should have taken a knee as he only gets this out to the 16-yard line. Second drive of the game coming up for this Las Vegas offense. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But they also have to remember they did put points on yeah, the board. Three points and, is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Not sure what happened out there, but it looked like the timing was a little off on that throw. Well, you know I'm a defender, so what am I going to say? Great defense. And darn right. They did something to disrupt that timing. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and 10. A handoff, Jacobs running to the left. And he is swallowed up right at the line of scrimmage. Officially nothing on that one, no gain, so they're left with still 10 to go on third down. As usual, the hallmark of a good run defense, linebackers making plays near the line of scrimmage. Absolutely nowhere to run there. 
Still needing 10 yards. Now it's third down. To throw is Garoppolo. And he's going to be taken down. Sacked back at the two. The defense rising to the challenge and setting him back on the sack. Uche was used sparingly, less than 40% of the Patriots' snaps. He has still authored a breakthrough season with 11 and a half sacks. I would best believe his usage is going to skyrocket this season. Here's A.J. Cole now. On presumably to punt, though he did complete a pass earlier. And he's able to get it out quickly, and this is not a bad kick here. On oh, the return is Jones. A seven-yard return following a punt of 45 yards. And the Patriots will have great starting position as they take over first and ten. Corral going to bootleg it. Throw left side, complete to Smith-Schuster. It'll go as a gain of four, and it'll be second down. Running wide side, Elliott. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. That's going to go down as a loss of five, and it brings up third down. Sometimes you just sit back and marvel at what he can do defensively. Speed, strength, quickness, he's the whole package. And that package just wrapped up the runner for a loss. Here's third and ten. And a corral will throw it. And he'll get this to the 40, but that's still going to be a few yards short of the first down. Give him eight yards that time on the scramble, and now fourth down. That looked great when he first took off because, in my mind, there was room to run, and he had the marker in his sight. But I certainly didn't expect him to close so quickly, and neither did he. They got to him just in time, and now that forced him to make a decision with his fourth down call. Feeling like they're not quite in field goal range yet. They're going to go for it on four. Running with Elliott. And he gets it to the 32. Good enough for a first down. And the drive stays in motion with a nice eight-yard pickup on fourth. Good spot on the field to go for it. Kind of no man's land, as they call it, and it worked out. Yeah, they call it no man's land because your punter is telling you it's too short. I'm just going to punt it into the end zone. Your field goal kicker might give you a little raised eyebrow. Might be too far for the field goal. So it gives you a great chance to go for it. Personally, if you have those tendencies to be aggressive as a head coach, you kind of like this spot because it gives you the decision to go ahead and go for it when you want to anyway. That'll be a New England first down, a gain of 12. Ten three, our score after one here on EA Sports. Start of the second quarter, and it's the Patriots in control of the football as they've got it with a first and ten. And Corral will throw it. This one to Bourne out on the left side. And all the way to the two-yard line there before crossing over out of bounds. Okay, so the penalty on the outside for illegal touching, and they'll have to come back and try it again. After the penalty, it's Allian. This will be a five-yard pickup as they move it from the 20 to the 15. He had to fight for every yard on that run. Shook himself free of a tackle and kept fighting, even with the rest of the defense closing in on him. That's the kind of effort you'll take every single time. 
Play number seven now coming up on the drive. Third and five. Corral now to throw. And he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. A strong eight yards will keep this drive rolling. Certainly not a positive sign if you're the D coordinator and you see your guys give up that space so early in the game. Third down, that's when the clamps are supposed to come out, but his ability to create things with his legs makes things difficult. Now Elliott. And that'll move him a little closer as he takes it from the seven down to the four-yard line. That's good power football on first and goal. A lot of teams will throw from there. But that's a nice job to chew up a few more yards and get yourself closer to the goal line. Second and goal from inside the five. Again, it's Elliott. And Zeke is in for a Patriots touchdown. Taking it in from four yards out. And the Patriots have taken a two-touchdown lead now. That almost looked too easy, and I think thanks goes to the offensive line for making it look easy. Yeah, I agree with you totally on that one. I'm not sure how much everyone understands the preparations that go into a game for an offensive line because there's a reason that running backs and quarterbacks give them big gifts at the end of the season after a big year. The consistency and the continuity it takes to know each other and execute their blocks is pretty impressive. Ryland now following the touchdown, back out to kick it away. And this taken in at the goal line. And no alley to be found. The coverage was solid, and he's dropped at the 18. The Vegas offense ready for their next possession. These guys definitely hoping for a better showing than their last appearance. They couldn't really even move the football much beyond the shadows of their own goalpost, Charles. We'll see if they can get a better, more sustained drive going here. Yeah, and every team that we ever talk to says the exact same thing. When you start a drive from that deep in your own territory, the goal is a minimum of at least two first downs because even if you have to punt then, you change the field position, right? You flip the field a little bit. They didn't get that done. This time they want to string together a nice drive and help themselves out. Juwan Bentley there to get him down. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. Now second and nine. On play action, now Garoppolo. Throwing quickly there, but it's incomplete. Well, they'll certainly be on the tablets going over that one for sure. Clearly, they were expecting something else out of the defense and couldn't adjust to make that completion happen. New England on third down. 0 for 3 to this point. They could use a conversion. This is third and nine. On play action, it's Garoppolo. That is caught. And he is going to have the Raiders first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Yeah, these are the types of plays they're going to need to hit on if they're going to get back into this game. It hasn't been the greatest of first halves, but this is a nice throw here on third down, and they keep the drive going. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Looking to throw, Garoppolo. He finds his man complete. It's Jacobs. Solid move, but he's corralled just beyond the 40. The first down screen pass, good for five. Boy, that was certainly well read defensively, and the key to any screen play is space to work, and there was none to be found there, and they tackle him for just a short gain. From the 41, here's a second and five. Garoppolo again. That's to the rookie from Notre Dame, Michael Mayer. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. First catch for the rookie, Golden Domer. It's a first down. 
Oh, that's a nice job of clearing space in the middle of the field for your tight end. He's going to start behind the line and run an angle route, hoping to kind of get lost in the middle of the field. And this is put right on him, and he's able to pick up a first down. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. This could be the start of a nice stand from this defense now after getting walked backwards on this drive. Come through with another one here, and you have them staring at a third and long, and that puts the defense in a position to dictate to the offense. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Throw right side complete to Carter. They'll get only three there, so it leaves them with a third and seven ahead. So seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. Throwing is Garoppolo on third down. All right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Picked up by Jonathan Jones. And the Pats are going to get the football here at their own 23. Well, this had trouble written all over from the start. He's got two extra defensive backs in the game he's got to deal with. They're in a dime set. So everywhere he's looking, he's seeing a different color jersey. And sure enough, this one winds up being intercepted. And let's gaze our attention on Ezekiel Elliott. It's the second quarter. His team has the lead, but... I think he's hoping for a little bit more production out of himself. And we often talk about preaching patience to a runner when things are a little bumpy in the early going. But we have to do the same thing with the offensive line. They can't wait to halftime to make the adjustments. They have to do it from series to series. So those surface tablets come into play. <laughs> Check out what the defense is doing and see if they can find a better way to run it. So they search for that patience here now. Here's Ty Montgomery, former star in nearby Stanford. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. Nice chunk of yards on first down. It really opens up your options for what you want to do on second. You go right back to him and hope he explodes or sucker the defense in before throwing over the top. Second down and six now from the 26. They stay on the ground, but this time it's Elliott. And he powers his way up past the 30. Give him four on the carry, and it'll make this a third and about two. Well, if you're a football guy, that's a pretty run because everyone is in sync right there. Obviously, the guy carrying the ball, but how about the people up front? Leverage, athleticism, they created some nice space for him. They'll try and run for it with Elliott. He's going to be a yard short. Needed two, but only got one. Fourth down. I know the speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. So on fourth down, here's Bryce Behringer on to punt for the Patriots. DeAndre Carter back deep. This is fielded at the 27. It's a 40-yard punt, six yards on the return, and the Raiders will take over now first and 10. The Raiders now set to get the football back, and we'll see if they can bounce back from that last drive, in particular if they can bounce back at the quarterback position, Charles, after throwing their first interception of the ball game. Yeah, and some guys, you know they're going to want to try and get a big play right away and take control back. Others, they're going to want to look to hit a couple shorter passes and get a little momentum back that way. But for the defense, that goal's not changing a bit. They want another pick. You're exactly right about that. In fact, you've got to watch them a little bit because in coverage, they may cut down their gaps a little bit, maybe their splits a little bit in order to try and get to the ball even faster. Well, on every play call, you realize it's not going to go for a touchdown, so a lot of your calls are setting things up for maybe later in the game, trying to establish the inside run, run with toughness now, hopefully get to the perimeter later, and let's face it, you could do worse than a four-yard run on first down. Here's a throw to his running back. It's complete, and he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. That one will go as a gain of 11. Raiders having a first down as well. Well, these guys have definitely been outplayed in the first half. I like their countenance. I like the way that they haven't panicked out there, the way they're carrying themselves. They're starting to move the ball. And what you have to do, maintain your poise and start to put together some drives. He'll let this go for Adams. 
This is caught inside the 15. It's a big play there for Vegas. 42 yards. And that might be exactly what they needed to wake up this home crowd. They haven't given them much to cheer for so far. And never underestimate the effect the home crowd with you can have on a game. So how about this for field position after the big play? Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. Running straight ahead is Jacobs. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. And that's exactly what you want on a first down run. Pick up five yards, bring up second and five. The defensive line, though, they've got to figure out a way to out leverage the guys up front because the offensive line is winning at the point of attack. Now second and five. Snap will come from the six. They fake the give. Now Garoppolo looks to throw. And the timing a bit off that time as that one falls to the ground. They were looking for Johnson that time, and it's third and five. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. Garoppolo now. And this is going to be incomplete. Fine work by the Patriot D there, and it's fourth down. And a smart play there. He's probably saying, I wish I would have done that on the last drive instead of throwing the interception. So off is Garoppolo, and in comes Daniel Carlson for the Raider field goal. This is an easy one, 23-yarder. The kick by Carlson is good, and a second field goal here gets him back with an 11 now. It's 17-6. So the three points there, and CD, that helps him inch a bit closer. Yeah, partner, when you're losing, any points you see go on the board in your favor, you're happy to take them. After the made field goal, Carlson now sets up to kick this away. No run back here for Jones, a touchback. Out comes the New England offense to see what they can do this time. Obviously not the intended goal last drive. They had to punt the football, but still they've got the lead here and now a chance to add on to that lead if they can get points on this drive. First and 10 upcoming. They'll set up to run the quarterback draw. And he is going to lose yardage here. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. But they were going draw play there. The defense wasn't fooled. They sniffed it out. I think they're going to have to go back and take a few more acting classes because that's what a lot of that is. You've got to influence them to think that it's going to be a pass play and have them drop out and maybe the defensive front coming forward and find yourself some space. In this case, no one was fooled and ended up spilling that play pretty well. Five yards on the carry there, and it leaves him with third and about six yards to go. On a second and long, it's really nice to see an offense that has enough confidence to run the football in that situation. I think that goes back to their practice and game planning. They've seen things that they've seen on tape and in previous games that led them to believe that even in a long-distance situation, they can still run the football and gain enough yardage to put themselves in a good spot on third down. A good decision in the end to pull it and run, get some nine yards and a first. There he goes, and for good reason. Running with it has paid dividends earlier in this game and earlier on this drive. And until they prove they can stop him, I don't think he's going to be shy about continuing to run for first downs instead of airing it out. Now they'll try and set up the quarterback draw here. And hard running's going to get him over the 40 to the 42. Give him four yards there on the first down keeper. Second down at six now from the 42. 
Tenth carry now for Allian. And able to work about five yards out of this as he's taken down up near the 47. They just keep trying, but so far, finding no room for him to run. Not none whatsoever. In fact, you run the numbers. He's under three yards a carry at the moment. The offense on third down. They've hit four of seven. They need just a yard here. It's third and one. On third and one, Corral. And that is incomplete. That might be the third down stop that they needed because they've had a lot of trouble slowing down this offense in the first half. This might be their opportunity to get off the field. Here's Bryce Barringer now. They'll get off a fairly short kick here as this is toward the sideline. And no return possible here as they angle this one out of bounds. Here's Las Vegas ready to take the field. Their drive last time, it stalled out. They were forced to take the short field goal. And the key phrase, you nailed it. Forced to, because you know coaches look at these short field goals as a last resort, right? To them, that's not how drives are supposed to end. You're supposed to put six on the board. That's a consolation prize, like going to the county fair. You don't get the big stuffed animal on that one, do you? No, you don't go top shelf. That's bottom shelf material. Meanwhile, they take a shot to start the drive, but this is going to wind up incomplete. Love the idea, love the concept, but you got to leave a little room on the sideline so he can fade into it when he makes the catch. That was thrown too close to it for the receiver to make a play. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Jacob's going to try the middle. And running room scarce here. He's going to be stopped in his tracks at the line of scrimmage. No gain on that one as it brings up a third and ten. Well done to sniff that out defensively. He had it diagnosed pretty quickly. I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one. Read his keys, made the play, and he couldn't even get going moving the football. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. Third down and ten. Once again, it's Jacobs. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. Give them 12 yards that time at a Las Vegas first. Obviously an important run to avoid the three and out on your own side of the field. Shows a lot of faith in that offensive unit, doesn't it? That you want to run the ball in that situation, pick up the first down. Also helps out your defensive guys a little bit too. Allows them to get at least one more series of downs in order to get some rest. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. Well, this defense is going to have to finish the job. There's still a second half that they have to play. But so far, an absolute total effort. They've disrupted the passing game, stressed the pocket for the quarterback. They forced him into errant throws. Everything they're doing has been executed well. Garoppolo again here on second and ten. A dump off here to Boulder. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. Looking to throw. Garoppolo. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he is going to have the Raiders' first down as he'll be marked down a yard or two past the marker following a gain of six. That's a big conversion there on third down because they did not want to give the ball up here late in the half. They'd love to take the clock all the way down and score. This will definitely help the cause. And yet again, it's Garoppolo. And an off-balance throw there, and it's going to wind up incomplete. Offense was moving it a little bit, had them back on their heels, but they earned a brief pause by forcing the incompletion. That gives them a quick chance to regroup and try and mount a stand before they're backed up even further. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Throwing now is Garoppolo. And incomplete on the deep ball. This is a half where not just the coverage, but the entire defense is setting the tone in this game. It's been a pretty long drive. This will be play number nine, and they need 10 yards out of it on third. 
to throw. It's Garoppolo. Oh, and his early struggles continue. Here's another one intercepted. Picked off by Christian Gonzalez. And the Patriots are going to have it here just past the 25. Well, we saw plenty of that during his much-heralded college career. He parlayed that into becoming a first-round selection. And now here he is making interceptions in the National Football League. And this is a guy that has all the physical tools, but the thing that sets him apart is what he's got between his ears. And that's the sixth sense for knowing where the football is going. Just an excellent play there to create the turnover. Here's Corral on first down, eluding the pressure right. And this turns into a nice gain with a slide at the end. Now the Patriots going to use one of their timeouts as the clock's going to stop with 47 seconds to go in half number one. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Here's Corral. Got the connection here to Bourne. They'll wind up getting seven on the play, and it'll be second down. But it appears that they read man defense and went to the out route, and what you have to do on that one is the receiver's got to make sure he works the defender towards the middle of the field to give himself space to cut to the outside and have that ball delivered with good timing, and they got it done. Corral looking to pass, second down. Short pass caught by Henry. Now the Patriots will use the second of their timeouts. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. Corral with it on first down. Right back to Henry, and Henry's got it again. And they're going to be set up down around the 15-yard line. Good yardage after the catch. Is that play good for 30 and a first? And with just four seconds left in this first half, a timeout call. So with four seconds to go in the half, here's the field goal unit onto the field. From the left hash, just a 32-yard attempt. And his kick here is good. And that will extend their lead even further. Well, they already had the early lead, and they get the interception, Charles, and now they add three more with the field goal. Yeah, they're in control of how this game is playing out so far. You mentioned the early lead. Now they're expanding on it, getting plays on both sides of the ball. A winning recipe if they can keep this up. So still time for the kickoff here. One second to go in the half as this one is away. So at halftime, it's the Patriots with the advantage. As we send you to our EA studios in Orlando, here's Jonathan Coachman with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Okay, Brandon, back to you guys in just a moment. But welcome everyone to our Creative Village studios in the EA Sports Halftime Report. We saw the vet with plenty left, Ezekiel Elliott, putting together a strong first half. He wound up finding the end zone on a touchdown run to help give his guys the advantage here at the break. All right, coach, thank you. And we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. The 
The Raiders are going to have it first, and they trail here as we get back to it in this third quarter of action. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. The Raider offense ready to go here to start the third quarter. Charles, it'll be interesting to see what adjustments this offense made in the locker room. Haven't really been able to get anything going offensively, virtually nothing in the ground attack either. So certainly something has to change here in quarter three. And I'm pretty sure their friends from the defensive side of the ball told them exactly that because those guys, the stop troops, They've been playing pretty well, and they've kept them around in this game. Now they've got some time. The running game struggled in the first half. Opposition knows how to focus on defending the pass here. They've got to re-energize that ground game and maybe open things up for a comeback here in this half. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. Well, no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. Ball on the 28-yard line. Here's second and three. They stay on the ground. Here's Bolden again. That one, a first down pickup of eight. And that's a nice pickup of a first down on that second down run. And at that yardage gained, they can run that play on any down. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Now Garoppolo. Gets it downfield to Mayer. Now yeah, he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. A good pick up there, 26 yards. A couple of first downs right in succession, and this is an offense that can really use a good drive, and they're off to a fast start here. So into Pat's territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 38. To throw is Garoppolo. It gets it right back to Mayer. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. This duo locked in 14 yards there and a first down. It's taken a while for this offense to get going. A little creaky at the start, but they're oiled up now. A nice throw there, and they're really putting together a good drive. Garoppolo now, first down throw. Mayer there to bring it in. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. He's a rookie, and you don't want to get hung up on the word potential. But when you see him make catches like that, you keep thinking to yourself, he's good now. He's got a chance to be great with plenty of work. On second down, Jacobs. And he'll take this into the end zone. Now, hold on here. We do have a flag down. So let's see what this is about. Down in this one, they needed that score, but they'll have to hold at least for the time being. You're exactly right. Points that they had to have, as you said, they have to regroup now and see if they can get them another way. They'll come up now on a second and long after the hold. Now a play fake. Garoppolo. A quick throw there is incomplete. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Again, they'll throw with Garoppolo. Now they set up the screen. That's complete. And they're going to get him down well short of the first as he can only get this to about the 19. Five yards, not enough. And it'll be fourth down. The key to any screen play is all in the deception. That means everyone on the offensive side of the ball but someone gave it up because that one wasn't very well concealed. And the defense able to rally to him and hold him for just a short game. Carlson able to put this one through. And that will get the disadvantage now back down to 11. 
So a good drive there to begin quarter number three, but they're only able to shave three points off the lead. Well, something's better than nothing, all right? They didn't play particularly well in the first half, but they definitely need them to step on the accelerator now and play a whole lot better. After the made field goal, Carlson now sets up to kick this away. Oh, the return is Jones from the end zone. And ultimately, he stopped right where he would have been if he had simply gone down to a knee at the 25. So here are the Patriots now. They get ready for their first possession of half number two. Jones and the Pats now with a first and 10 at their 25-yard line. And he fumbled it. It's on the ground. But it looks like one of the DBs has it. And they'll start with great field position at the 41-yard line. Well, you had an offense working with a comfortable two-score lead here in the third quarter and certainly doesn't feel as comfortable now following the turnover. Yeah, you're right about that because now the nerves start to come into play a little bit. You're a little bit jangled. You don't want to give your opponents any avenues to get back into the game. What you'd rather do, put up signs and say, roads closed. And now before the ball changes hands, they're going to take a look at this just to make sure that they have it right. And the question, was the knee in fact down before this ball comes loose? And is the video convincing enough to overturn it? A lot of factors here. Remember, you also need clear possession of the football afterwards. This is a tough one to overturn. So that one overturned. They say the knee was down, and that will not be ruled a fumble. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Throwing Jones. Open man down the field is Henry. And he is out of bounds inside the 35. That'll be marked as a 27-yard pickup. Uh, it's a well-designed play here. Three wide receivers in the formation. They're all going to run deep routes to put pressure on the safeties. And then they let their tight end cut his route off a little shorter and work toward the middle of the field. That's a difficult route to try to defend. Now Jones. Now thrown to Parker complete on the slant. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. This game not quite as good as the last, but still over 40 yards between the two. I know that no game in the NFL is ever easy, but they're making it look that way. Everything is being done with such precision. Just on this drive alone, three plays, three first downs. If you're on defense, you're scrambling, looking at each other, trying to figure out how are we going to slow these guys down. Jones on first down, and his throw here is incomplete. Yes, sir. How about an out of boy there on first down? Got his hand in and knocked it away. Juju Smith-Schuster, the intended receiver. And that'll bring up second down. Up the middle, here's Hallian. Fights through it. Power running by Zeke. And the Patriots are going to have it first and goal as he'll take this down to about the three. Sometimes it's hard to believe, but there are times this game is about patience, isn't it? Has had the game he expected, but that run there, that may get him going. I was just going to say, maybe that gives him a little juice because you're right, he struggled, especially in that first half. Yeah, and I know the great ones always think to themselves, just hang in there. Just one big carry away from busting this open. That's a good start for him. He'll get two out of that run, and it's going to bring up a second and goal. And now defensively, you have to look at this like the game's on the line. It's just the third quarter, but another touchdown given up here 
can really spell an end to their chances, so they need to toughen up and keep them out of the end zone. On second and goal, Jones, touchdown! Hunter Henry taking it in as his guys have opened up a very comfortable lead. That drive that really increased their cushion felt very military to me. Very precise, methodical, that's one of the words you've taught me. And they just got it done. And slowly but surely now, starting to pull away a little bit. Things looking good for them here in the third quarter. Not only pulling away, but you mentioned that slowly but surely. You also drain clock, too, with yep. a drive like that. So you really give yourself an advantage. Back out is the kicker, Ryland, and he'll send this one away. From his end zone, here comes Carter. And they'll be backed up to start this drive as he's taken down right around the 15. The Vegas offense ready for their next possession. And tough to win games if you're going field goal, field goal, field goal here. They got field goal last time. Now they'll be looking for a touchdown. They're looking for the big chunk now because, as you noted, the field goal, field goal, field goal way of doing it makes it that much harder and puts more pressure on every possession for you now. Go ahead and get six and feel a lot more comfortable about the position they're in. Bigger chunks. We'll see if they can get the score. Throwing on first is Garoppolo. Open man is Myers. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here, and if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up a score. Now Garoppolo on the bootleg. Over the middle complete. That's Adams. And he'll get this up to the 34-yard line. That one will go as a gain of 11. Raiders having a first down as well. And you start to think if it's going to happen for these guys, it's got to start with this drive. Down three scores, they need to start making some inroads. And that will help the cause there as they pick up good yardage and a first down. On play action, it's Garoppolo. He'll get that one to Carter complete. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. 11 yards there, just like last play. Well, this is where reading defenses and practice time comes into play. You've got to know what you're running versus zone versus man and how to run the proper route. And they just executed that one pretty well. Here's Jacobs on first and 10. And a strong run that time as he's across midfield and down to the 43. 51 yards rushing for him now as he's run it 11 times. They're making it look easy out there. Another first down. So, so far on this drive, let me do this little bit of math here. Four plays, three first downs. That's a pretty good recipe for success. On first down, they go with Jacobs again. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground. But I think the play gets made by the defensive front because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes, stack things up, and make it difficult for the runner to find a hole. They'll stay on the ground with Jacobs. And he gets it down to the 32. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Yeah, once more, strong running. Excellent blocking at the point of attack. They've got a nice little drive brewing right here. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Now they'll throw with Garoppolo. Throwing the out route incomplete. It's Carter. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. From the 23, here's second and a yard. Play action, Garoppolo. He finds his man, complete. It's Jacobs. 
And he'll be brought down at the 21, just shy of the 20 in the red zone. Two yards on the pickup, and that's all they needed to move the sticks. Well, they certainly had success throughout this contest getting him the ball in the passing game, and there he picks up another first down. Whatever they saw going into this one, they've been able to capitalize on it, and no adjustment has been made to take it away. Wide open receiver complete. And they corral him just a couple yards shy of the end zone. 19 yards on the pick up there, and now they'll have it first and goal. And I'll tell you what, this offense is playing a little bit of keep away right now. They've come out here in the third quarter, possessed the ball for quite a while, and they keep on converting. Nice pitch and catch there to set up the first and goal. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. Garoppolo. And this is caught. Touchdown, Raiders. Devontae Adams. A two-yard touchdown grab. And the Raiders are able to cut into that deficit. Well, they had their chances in the first half, you remember, but had to settle for two field goals. This time, they come away with six. I think they actually got affirmation about what they were doing by getting a touchdown because the field goals means they got in range but couldn't quite finish it off. This time, they broke through, and that's great for the old confidence. And on the sideline, difference of a feeling between three and six, is it astronomical or it, no? It, it, it can be at times, that's for sure. A lot of times, the field goal feels like a disappointment. The touchdown, well, that tells you you're getting it done. Following the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Carlson. Marcus Jones, a return man. And able to get this out to the 25. New England trying to get a place on offense. Their lead down to two scores after the touchdown a moment ago as they start with a first and 10. To Montgomery to begin the drive. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Not a huge carry there on first down, but not all of them will be. But still, all in all, a positive play for the offense. It's all about picking up at least a few to set up what you're going to do here on second down. And they'll come up on a second and seven from the 27. On the counter, Elliott. 51 yards rushing for him now as he's carried it 13 times. Good pick up by Elliott. What's a down year for Zeke? Is a great year for most NFL backs. Had career lows in carries and yards, but still ranked in or near the top 20 league-wide. And of course, remained a productive scorer with 12 touchdowns. They keep on the ground with Elliott. They find some open field here. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. That good for 22 and a first down. Now that's a big time run. Lightning in a bottle, forget it. He exploded out of the bottle for that type of a pickup. So here's a first and 10 now in Raider territory at the 42 yard line. Again, it's Elliott. And very little there. He might have gotten a yard. Yeah, I think he got a yard to the 41. That was a really nice play, be able to stack that one up. When they get back in the huddle, he's got he's to tell his guys up front, great job. They kept people off of him, allowed him to run free and make the hit on the runner. Filled the gap nicely, kept him to just a one-yard gain. They go back to Elliott. He's been busy. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. Officially no gain on the play, and they're left with a third and eight. Absolutely love the effort there. The ability to flow from his inside spot and stop that one at the line of scrimmage. Nice linebacker play. Yeah. 
so they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we've played three quarters. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in Las Vegas. Welcome back, everybody. If they want a first, they need to get the football to the 32 here on third down. Looking to throw. Jones. Oh, he had him. He was open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. He shook his head right when he released that throw. He knew it was going to be a little off target. Yeah, the excitement got him on that one. Wasn't able to control the fact the receiver was open, and it would have been an easy throw. So now on comes the field goal unit, and wow, this is no ordinary try here. They'll spot it at the 47, so call it a 57-yard attempt. He's got the distance, but it's no good. Wide to the right, and this will remain an 11-point spread. Now, Charles, all things considered, I guess that's not a critical miss at this stage, is it? No, but still everything helps when you're trying to finish off a ball game. And you're right, not critical in terms of the scoreboard and the team, but the guy with the golden foot, he knows he's only as good as his last kick. So good starting field position for him here as they come up first and 10 on their side of midfield at the 47. Garoppolo now. The Pats are going to get there. Down he goes. Buried by multiple defenders on the drive's first play. But when you see a quarterback retreating away from the line of scrimmage toward the other goal line like that, usually doesn't end well. You're exactly right about that. Normally, if they're moving from side to side, they've got a chance maybe to get back upfield. He was trying to shake defenders and extend the play, but it doesn't work out very well for them at all. You need those extra yards on the other side of the line of scrimmage. Now you're digging a hole for your offense. Throwing on second and long. Garoppolo over the middle. He's got Myers. A good pick up there, 18 yards as they get closer for third down. All right, this is the time of the game where they're down a couple scores, and they've really got to get some yards in chunks, and they know the defense doesn't want to give those up, but they've got to find a way to take them anyway. Now the question is, can they string a few of those together? Throwing is Garoppolo on third down. They'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. And he is going to have the Raiders first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And a two-score game, obviously, every play, every third down, like we saw there, magnified big pickup. It was a huge pickup. What they really want, though, is to not even get to third down. They've got to maximize time and conserve as much as possible. Garoppolo on first down. And he's going to be intercepted for the third time thus far. Picked up by Jonathan Jones. And the Pats will have the football as this is taken up past the 30. But here in the fourth quarter, defensively, you know that you're just going to blanket the field with defensive backs and say, OK, take your best shot. And that time, it's intercepted. And we've often seen teams go into the prevent early, way too early. And sometimes they get too soft in their coverages. But not in this case. They understood the situation and played it with the proper aggression. New England's offense set to go. They have to like the position that they are in. Fourth quarter, two-score lead, and now the ball back after the INT. Jones and the Pats now with a first and 10 at the 31-yard line. Off the play fake. Jones going top shelf for Smith-Schuster. That's caught inside the 20. And he's going to be taken down right at the 10-yard line. Well, partner, I'm not sure how this drive's going to end, but how about the way they flip field position there? A nice attacking play. They picked up a heck of a chunk of yardage. So not quite a first and goal. It's first and 10 from the 10. A give to Elliott running left. And he is going to lose yardage here. 
The defense showing some anger after giving up the big play. This time they'll lose one or two. They had three tight ends in that formation. That's almost a universal sign that they're planning to run the football. But how about the defense there? They met force with force and caused a stack up behind the line of scrimmage and threw him for a loss. Back to the ground, this time Montgomery. And they go the wrong way on this one. Losing yardage back at the 12. Officially, it will go as a one-yard loss, and that's going to lead to a third down. I think it might be time to move to a different section of the playbook there because back-to-back -back runs, both for loss. Now they have third and long coming up. Here's Jones to throw on third down. And that is incomplete. I think that was a good job there defensively. They did allow them to drive all the way downfield, but once they got their backs to the goal line, they really turned up the pressure. Yeah, they let them get all the way down here. Now the field shrinks. They've struggled to convert, and that last incompletion brings up fourth. And this one is right through. And that will extend their lead even further. So that maybe not a knockout blow, but I, I suppose certainly every little bit helps when you're trying to salt one away in the fourth. Well, the possibility of being beaten by two late touchdowns or at least sent to overtime does exist. But time, definitely a big factor at this stage of the game, is in their favor. So after the field goal, Ryland back out as he'll send this one away. This fielded right at the goal line. And he won't get this to the 20-yard line as he's down at the 19. Here's Las Vegas ready to take the field. And with three interceptions thrown already, we'll see. Do they, do they rely more on the ground game here? They may have to change things offensively to try and settle things down, not just for the guy throwing the ball, but for the rest of the offensive unit because his confidence has to be shaken a little bit. And you just wonder, is the backup going to start to warm up a little bit over on the sideline? And Garoppolo going to lead the Raiders up here first and 10 at their own 19-yard line. And right side, they're going to go option here. And he'll be taken down at the 20 after a gain of just one. Defenses always talk about earning the right to rush the passer on third down. And you know what offenses want? Win first down so that can set things up for themselves better. And that wasn't helpful there. Not a big impact on first down. From the 20, here's the second down and nine. Garoppolo looks to throw. Normally, he's pretty reliable. Usually catches what's thrown to him. On that play, he simply dropped it. The Michael Mayer, his intended receiver, and it's third down. They'll come to the line here, needing nine yards to pick up the first. Looking to throw, Garoppolo. And he goes down. It's a Patriot sack. He could not get away that time, and it'll be a loss of 11 on third down. And no matter what the situation, the O-line just hates that because they feel like they didn't protect little brother back there, right? Man, that's just so difficult for them because just think about every single play. When you decide to throw the football, you're dealing with some of the best athletes on the planet. You talk about guys, if they weren't playing football, they'd be starring in the NBA at power forward. It's a really difficult task. Here's A.J. Cole now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. And a fair catch is taken here a step or two inside the 45-yard line. So a change of possession here on the punt. And the Patriots take over. Good starting field position for them here as they come up first and 10 at the 45. Throwing to start the drive. Jones. Open man is born. So five yards here, five on the play. And that'll make it second down. Yeah. 
From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. Now a short one to Gesicki. Taking it right down Broadway. And all the way in. Touchdown, New England. Mike Gesicki, 50 yards. And the Patriots have pretty well put it away here in the fourth quarter. Well, what we just saw, we've seen a lot of broken tackles, and they're leading to a huge touchdown play. Yeah, none of them more glaring than what we just saw there, but we've seen it throughout this game, whether it's in tight, running through the line, out in open field. They haven't been able to get these runners down very well. I have a feeling they'll be in pads a lot next week working on their tackling. Extra point by Ryland, up and good. And the lead now to three touchdowns at 21. Ryland now following the touchdown, back out to kick it away. No return here for Carter, and this will be a touchback. Las Vegas' offense back out there, ready to go. And Charles, a very uninspired effort the last time we saw them out there was a quick three and out, and they punted the football. Yeah, and you never want to get stopped so soundly during a series, but what would be even worse now is letting it happen again right here. They've got to get going. And Garoppolo going to lead the Raiders up here first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven past the 30 to the 32. What a way to start a drive. An excellent run, a tone setter, and now if you want to take a shot on second down and go play action and make it look like the same exact play and throw it over the top, you can do so because you've established the run in a big way. To throw, it's Garoppolo. And he drops it incomplete. And their struggles continue here. One thing you hope to see out of a rookie tight end is a real concentration when the ball's in the air, and I'm not sure that he didn't but he has to be prepared for people making a play on it when that ball's up for grabs. So the incomplete pass on the last play, and that leads us to a third and three. Here's Garoppolo to throw. And the throw there going to be incomplete. How about some applause for the defense there? They forced him to throw that one into coverage, and just like that, they're staring at a fourth down. Well done. This offense converted once on fourth down earlier. Now they're out there again to try once more. Now Garoppolo, got to have this one. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. The Raiders try it on fourth down, but to no avail. And the Patriots take over, and they're going to have terrific field position. Well, their first fourth down attempt earlier was successful. This one backfires for a turnover on downs. I like their aggressiveness. I like what they're doing. They got it the first time they went for it. Why not a second time? I don't think they'll be daunted from attempting it again. If you're on the defensive side of the ball, though, any fourth down stop is a big momentum play. First down, here's the run with Montgomery. And he stopped immediately there. It's the pro bowler Chandler Jones who makes the tackle. Offensive line really didn't give him any room to maneuver on that play. Things closed pretty quickly, didn't they? And how about the wrap-up at the end of that tackle? Left no doubt there would be no additional yardage to be found. Second and 10. They stay on the ground, but this time it's Elliott. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. When you find that kind of yardage, you couldn't be more confident as a ball carrier. And guess what? You're going to go back and tell your offensive coordinator, I'd like to keep carrying it, thank you. The 22 is the line to gain here on third down. They go to Elliott again. And he will have a first down at about the 21-yard line. 
84 yards rushing for him now as he's done it on 19 carries. Hate to be blunt, but it is just continuing to prove to be the case that this O-line is manhandling this D-line right now. They deserve to roll up their sleeves and show up their biceps because they're doing exactly what you just described, manhandling the defensive front. They've got the leverage, they're powering through, and they're controlling this game. And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. Short completion, just four yards, and it'll be second down. Well, that's always a good place to throw it just because he's one of the biggest targets not only on this team, but in the National Football League. And you and I both know the quarterbacks love these large-bodied tight ends, and why not? Nowadays, they're really wide receivers who are just taller and have a little bit more weight. These guys catch the football, make big plays downfield. In the old days, we wanted them to block. Now coaches want them to catch the football first. Well, their passing attack, even though that one was incomplete, has been really sharp in this one. It's resulted in a lot of touchdowns, and it looks like they're not going to stop throwing the football until the very end of this one. Well, that will certainly make everyone involved on offense pretty happy because that gives them all a chance to pad their stats a bit. But as far as the actual need, you and I both know they can just run this clock out because this one, it was over a long time ago. Brandon, this can be so demoralizing for a defense. They've had two opportunities to get off the field. They haven't gotten it done. So now your coordinator, he's going to call every blitz that he has, any type of exotic, something that they haven't seen before. And he's also telling the defensive lineman, don't worry about holding people up. Just get in gap. And he's in. Touchdown, Patriots. Ty Montgomery. A six-yard touchdown run. And the Patriots up the lead to four scores now here in this fourth quarter. And certainly some credit there for that touchdown goes to the offensive line. They never get the credit they deserve in the stat sheet, but they are the reason that they got the points. Excellent job up front, clearing for the score. Now the PAT would extend their league, but there is a flag on the play. Well, things obviously not going their way. Trailing here in the fourth quarter, and that penalty going to go ahead and give the other side some extra yardage. We all know it's an intense game, and things can get heated out there. That's part of the battle. But bottom line, you got to keep your cool. That was not an example of doing that. After the roughing penalty on the PAT, they'll kick off from 15 yards further upfield. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. The Raiders offense ready to go. Charles, we know that this offense is aggressive. We saw that last drive. They went for it on fourth down, didn't get it. Then they give up the touchdown. So now you feel like they really need to respond here. They certainly do, but let's face it. Sometimes when you take that risk, you understand if you fail, a little more onus goes back on your ball club to try and pick themselves back up. And Garoppolo going to lead the Raiders up here first and 10 at their 25-yard line. They'll try and start this drive in the air. That one caught by Carter. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. The catch and run pays off for 29 yards. Well, this game was decided a while ago, and that completion there is going to artificially inflate his passing numbers. So right now, the only one really applauding probably his agent as he thinks about angling for a new contract. Here's Garoppolo on first and 10. Oh, he dropped it. And that's pretty indicative of the way this one's gone. Even with such a big lead late, the effort hasn't lapsed one bit. If the offense wants to score some points in this one, they're going to have to earn it. These guys are not giving up anything. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and 10. Looking to throw, Garoppolo. To the right side, here's Mayer. And past the 35, he'll be dropped a yard or two shy of the 30. 
That catch puts him over 70 yards receiving now as he's got a first down. Well, this game is certainly pretty well over. They can go ahead and mark it in the win column, but as a defense, they don't want to get so soft now that everybody just throws the ball all over the place against them, gets big yardage, and puts points on the board. They have pride, too, on that side of the ball. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. I'm trying to decipher what's going on out there because I don't know if he's just getting bad reads. I don't know if the defense is confusing him. I don't know if he just has, you know, bad info and intel before he snaps the ball, but he's made some pretty bad decisions with the football lately. Yeah, several bad decisions on the interceptions he's thrown, and frankly, that should have been another pick right there. Garoppolo again here on second and 10. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked up by Christian Gonzalez. And the Patriots are going to take possession here at their own 33. Well, just another reason to celebrate there on the defensive side with the interception. And this is a game that they clearly have firmly in their grasp. Yeah, a lot of handshakes, a lot of hugs, a lot of smiles. It's been their day. New England trotting into place on offense. And after the interception, they are sitting in an even better spot with the ball and a comfortable fourth quarter lead. Jones and the Pats now with a first and 10 at the 33-yard line. He'll hand it off to Elliott to begin the drive. And he'll manage to pick up about four at second down. That's it. That's what you want. Straight ahead, positive gain. Just keep that clock ticking. From the 37, they work on second and six. They'll try and run some clock now with Elliott. And he's dropped right at the 40. Gain of three. Well, that's not a run that's going to make any of the highlight tapes, but they've been moving it well all game on the ground. This is another one that keeps them moving forward. Here is third down and four. Oh, and they sent the man in motion too late. This is going to be a delay. Oh, man. Can't do that. Yeah. Now, the offense knew it. They were already starting to walk back as that one is accepted. Instead of a third and four, now they have to manage a third and nine after the delay of game. Operating from the gun, Jones. Now throw right side here, going to be incomplete. The CD, they're up big, but they're still passing it. I mean, this is an offense that's had a lot of success in this game, and it seems like they're just having fun out there. And it does feel like there's been a shift out there, doesn't it, partner? Listen, if you're up, you can continue to do what you want to do. It's up to the other team to make you change how you do things. They'll continue to throw it around until stopped. Here comes Carter. It's a 42-yard punt, but eight on the return. And it'll be Raiders football first and 10. The Vegas offense ready for their next possession. Where we stand right now in the fourth quarter, this one pretty much out of reach. And Charles, I know they're going to be disappointed about several things with this ball game, but the self-inflicted wounds, they've had several turnovers. You would have to think that's going to be something they're going to discuss heavily in the film session in the coming days. Yeah, absolutely right about that, partner, because... They're going to have to sit in that film room and watch every error that they made and figure out how to not do it in the future. And mentally, I think a lot of the guys are already starting to think about, okay, how do we put this behind us and get better for the next time out? This, they'll use as motivation for the rest of the time that they play to hopefully never be in this type of situation again. So now they'll come up on second and 10, once again from the 28. Now Garoppolo. Oh, the slant connects with Devontae Adams. And he'll be taken down right there at the 38. Fifth catch of the afternoon, and that gives him a first down. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. 
So it's Raider football as we get you reset. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. To throw is Garoppolo. That's to Mayer, the tight end. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Obviously, this has not been a banner game throwing the football. So what you got to do, you got to kind of down focus, don't you think? Find the tight end, take some easier completions. Yeah, interception last drive. There he hits the reliable target. And yet again, it's Garoppolo. That's to the veteran tight end, Austin Hooper. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. <laughs> I got a kick out of that one, partner. You and I talk often about trying to hide receivers in certain situations, but a guy of his size can't really hide him. But the tight end drag route, definitely an effective way to sneak him across the formation for an easy completion and a first down. On first down, Garoppolo. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Carter. So the completion good for seven there. And that's going to bring up second down. Throwing now is Garoppolo. That's caught by Myers. And they are able to stop him, but he does take it all the way to the two. It's a gain of 35. They absolutely had to take some chances downfield trailing here in the fourth quarter. So why not go four verticals, send the guys downfield, say make a play? And that's one of the favored routes of offensive coordinators. You know why? Because receivers can be open at any point running that route. Now a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. Another throw there off the mark, and obviously he's battled all of the interceptions. Things just haven't been true to form for him. I don't know. What do you think's going on out there, CD? That's a great question, and my suspicion is he's been coached really well to not show that he's having a problem. You know, they always tell you no matter what, you keep throwing the... And a little bit of a consolation prize there. He's into the end zone. Won't win him the game, but they do get the score with all zeros showing. But some fantasy players are really happy with that score. Just a formality now, but here's the extra point. And the kick is good, but obviously it won't matter as they're going to go down and defeat here. This one's over. Well, on the one side, if you try to take away something positive from this game, they played to the final whistle, getting the touchdown there on the last play, but still, all for naught, really. Yeah, I'd say, I'd say give them points for positivity. I like that. That part is good. But I often wonder, when the game is settled and the clock is run out, do we really need to kick the extra point? Oh, yeah. It it's, just, it's silly. It's it, silly. It doesn't make any sense to me. I know that people have explained before, well, you got to play it all the way through. Come on. This thing was done. That'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our hardworking crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, find us on Twitter at EA Madden NFL. With that, we say so long from Las Vegas.